This is Janet Muse, the Crafty Muse. If you have never participated in a swap, it might be a fun thing to do. Depending upon how many people participate, you get a nice variety of cards. This particular swap is specifically for the new annual catalog that's effective May 3rd. I actually had kind of a hard time deciding what I wanted to do this time, which is pretty typical for me, but um, one of the things that I took a look at, and this is where we ended up, <laughs> one of the things I looked at was there are quite a few die sets in the new catalog that are not specifically tied to a stamp set. And that's kind of a new thing, at least I don't remember there being a lot of those in the past. But these are, are kind of fun. This particular one Pretty pop-ups is what caught my eye and at first I, I don't know it didn't really I wasn't all hats and horns I guess would be my expression but it's a nice set you can see what ends up happening is it die cuts and you can pop up the various areas within the die cut. And one of the ways I learned to do a little more popping up is to just sort of bend the paper a little bit. Uh, usually I poke through with my pick it up tool. But this turned out to be something that really caught my eye once I started looking. And what happened was they give you an idea, Stampin' Up! gives you an idea of where you might see these dies in use. So this particular one, it tells you to go to page 17 and see what's going on. Okay, so we go to page 17. And here we have some ideas using those. Now you can see here, this is the circular one. Okay, and so you have all sorts of options. Uh, anyway, this card right here sort of caught my attention a little bit, but I decided um, I like a lot of color. So I played around with it, and this is what I ended up with. Now, when you make swaps, a lot of times you end up making, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20. So if you're using designer paper, sometimes it's a little difficult to have enough designer paper because typically you can get six cards from a sheet and usually only get two sheets. But one of the really cool things is in the host offerings this time. Okay, so back here you earn um, Stampin' Rewards, okay, and there's a really nice pack of paper. So this Here's what it looks like. Design a daydream. And the colors, Blackberry Bliss, Daffodil Delight, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. So when we get a little deeper into this, you'll see I used all the colors except Old Olive. But the paper is really quite lovely. You actually get 48 sheets. So if you read the description, it says there's 
12 sheets. Well, that's not true. <laughs> anyway, um, 48 sheets, okay, and there's some really fun. We have the kites, we have some flowers in there, some just geometric designs, bicycles, pinwheels, stripes, stripes are always good, and birds. So it had a lot of potential, I thought. And because you get so many sheets, it gave me the opportunity to use one of the designs out of there to make all of the swaps that I needed to make. Okay. Design a Daydream is the name of it. Okay. So we'll get that out of the way. So that's what we're working with. So we know that I used this pop-up die. There's a new set of embossing folders, and these are the small version. Uh, they do fit in the, the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And this set has a birthday and a congratulations. So, uh, it's kind of hard to see, huh? But it's birthday and congratulations. I don't think this is going to help much, but let's see. Well, maybe a little. But you can see, bravo, congratulations. Various foreign languages that I am not familiar with. Um, and then the happy birthday in all sorts of different languages. So I did use the birthday one. And of course you could turn this into a congratulations card as well. It's obviously you can make it whatever you want, right? But when I looked at that card on page 17, you know, I told you I liked color. And so I knew I wanted more color but I also wanted more texture. And so, not only did I cut the pop-up using the pool party and using the Daffodil Delight, but I also used the macaron for the centerpiece to have the happy birthday. And then this cute little butterfly is using the Blackberry Bliss from that same uh, pop-up die set. So once you get all those things cut, it's really relatively simple card. I say that, it took a while to cut those all out. But I decided the card would be the 11 by four and a quarter. Okay, so it's gonna fold that way. Now, because I had plenty of designer paper, right, I wanted to make sure that it really showed up. So the basic white piece that I used is the traditional four by five and a quarter. Okay, so your typical uh, card layer, and it would be the same size you normally would use for the inside. So if you uh, look at these instructions, once I have them put together, you'll see that it calls for two four by five and a quarter basic white. And so you have just a little bit of a border around that. Now this piece can go ahead and be put down. I'm going to go ahead and do and get it out of the way. So that is the Blackberry Bliss. 
So like I said, the Blackberry Bliss is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Now these little strips are one and a quarter by three and a quarter. Now when I first made this card, this is the final card. <laughs> the first version, I actually put down, let's see, one, two, three, four, four different um, small pieces. But I learned from watching myself, self, in order to make sure I did a good job of getting everything just right, I decided to create these pieces on top of a petal pink three and a quarter by four and a half. So three and a quarter, of course, is the theme behind these different um, strips here. So these are one and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then, yeah, I cut my, cut my thumb. And then the mint macaron is one and three quarters by three and a quarter. So it lets a little bit of the petal pink show through. Now the way I attach these, after I had poked up some of these, and like I said, there's all sorts of different ways to do it. You can poke from the back. Um, anyway, all sorts of different ways to do it. The way I attached this was very small um, drops of glue or dots, whatever you want to call it. Now you obviously if you use the adhesive sheets then the little pieces would not pop up. So you do need to uh, you know put this down some other way. And there's a couple of big flowers in here and of course the center of the dragonfly. So you have a couple spots where it fits in there really nicely, okay? And my final card here, the dragonflies are flying away. Uh, my intent was to have them fly towards the center. So this one, we'll have them do that. Okay, same thing with the Daffodil Delight. Hit the big spots. And then the edges where there's a teeny tiny little place. Now you know this Tombow glue does dry clear. Uh, so it, it does give you a little bit of leeway. Oops. So then this one will go down here. Now once it's down, you do have the ability to uh, take your pick it up spatula and kind of pop some of these back up. can also bend the card a little and get a little edge going. But of course they're not going to stay popped up once they're in the envelope and all of that. But it's just, um, it's a texture thing. Okay, and then finally the happy birthday in the center. Now because this is embossed and it's, it's a pretty deep emboss, you want to be careful. The snail runners can tear that paper pretty easily. So whenever I have something that's been embossed, especially kind of a deep emboss, I either use glue dots or glue. And that way it holds it on better and you don't have to worry about tearing. So then I can just slide this in there, leave Whoops, hang on. <laughs> Leave just a little bit of that showing. And because it is popped up a little, I decided to put this down on the card 
flat, but we will pop up the sentiment. Okay, so once this is ready, we are going to, yeah, I got a little carried away with this, but that's okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Now, whenever I am doing a swap and I have to do multiple of something, I try to get all the pieces ready. Like you can see here, I have everything cut, embossed, die cut, ready to go. And because this piece, like I showed you in the beginning, can go down on the card front right away, then I have my, um, I have these all ready to go and put together. So I did the little butterflies. Okay, cut a bunch of those. I also used a lot of old scraps to do the happy birthday. Now, when you cut the four by five and a quarter, you know, for that first layer, you end up with perfect strips to use for all sorts of different things. And this particular one matches up nicely with a brand new stamp set that's a million dollar seller uh, assisted design stamp set. I've not put them all together, but this cute little happy birthday right here. And that is how I introduced some of the color. And like I said, that is um, put on with dimensionals. And if you're not familiar, you can flip your that end of the pick it up tool around, and now you have the paper piercing side, which is really good for taking the lining off your dimensionals. I've been trying not to put stuff on the floor as much as I used to. Um, we'll see how long that lasts, right? But then that just goes right there. And the butterfly is being put on with a drop of glue or a dot of glue, uh, just like the other pieces. Now you do want to give all this time to dry, right? So. As you do these, you kind of want to set them off to the side and let them dry. And we have these new gems, these glossy dots assortment. And the colors for those, Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Pool Party. So, imagine that. It matches perfectly with the card that we're doing. Now, you know, we have this deal of the magic of three. You know, three is a magic number. And so what's going to happen in this case, okay, so our glossy dots assortment, page 143, okay. It has the three different sizes like we're used to seeing on uh, most of our embellishments that are like this. But how fun that we have pool party Oops. to go on our pool party piece. And I'm putting these on the flowers. And, 
of course, the perfectly matching. I'm making this look a lot harder than it really is. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but each piece, the top and the bottom, will have three. So technically there's six. You're supposed to do odd numbers, but I'm going with the fact that there's three and three. And so it's all good. And then if I was not happy with how, you know, the pieces were laying down, like I said, you can go back either with the spatula or very carefully with the paper piercing side and lift up the little pieces that you would like to have pop so we can get our butterfly to stand up a little. Famous last words, right? It really does work. <laughs> anyway, so that is my swap for the new catalog swap. And like I said, I would um, put this off to the side since there's glue involved on the butterfly and, and all these other pieces and I'll let it just rest. And because I have quite a few of these to make, I can just sort of lay them around all around the craft room and come back to them later. So if you have any questions about this one, just let me know. Uh, the measurements are pretty simple. They will be in the written instructions uh, once I put those together. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have fun uh, with the new catalog products. And thanks for watching.